Well, hello everybody. How are we doing tonight? Who do we got in here? We got Zeb, big and little Lego. Hey Tommy, how you doing? So yeah, tonight we're gonna do a hopefully a nice little quick build. Well, it'll never be quick if I'm uh, if I'm putzing away on this. Um, but it's not a huge build, so we can. Uh, hey Brendan, how you doing, buddy? Um, we can get started on it. So it's the Jeep Rubicon four two one two two. Brick and brood, it's happening, my man. Zoe, how you doing? So a neat little set, and I wanted to get this one for a while, um, but uh, it's just kind of been that. Uh, one sitting on the shelf just hanging out not doing much and, and well time was right so I ended up picking it up and uh, yeah we're gonna slap it together and uh, see how cool it actually is it's got a nice little winch on the front so it gives you gives you some specs on the back there you can see you know, 270 horses 5,000 pounds or whatever gives you the motor size of the uh, the actual Rubicon um, and then it gives you just kind of the playability of it. So you can see on the back side there, you can see the wheel for uh, spinning and uh, or turning the wheel, or the steering wheel. And then on the front side, we have the winch. So, so yeah. Uh, and then Lego, as on a lot of their stuff they're doing, we're getting the uh, uh, puncture the boxes sort of thing. Well, this one I'm not super stressed about. It's not like it's a huge expensive set where um, we're worried about keeping the box. I'm kind of not really worried about keeping the box here. So, hey, Tobork. Just bought a third assembly square. Why do I have no self control? I Well, as someone with total self control, uh, I don't know, but you should. we should start a group, a therapy group, and uh, perhaps you can. Uh, <laughs> Seek some uh, seek some help there, my friend. Hey, Tommy Rich, how you doing? Brick Tube Dave, how you doing? Well, we got five tires there. And some bags. Let's check out what we got in the bags. We've got looks like two bags but of course they do the double up bag so we got two bag ones and three bag twos so like I said before not a uh, not a huge amount of stuff but we'll get after it and oh is this our decal sheet yeah of course and our famous little decal sheet so cool beans hey Krish how you doing uh, Zeb what's going on uh, when did I get the Disney castle? Mm, I got the Disney castle. Uh, I think it was pretty much right at the beginning of uh, um, COVID. So like a year ago. Uh, it, it was when our store opened back up. And uh, when it opened back up, then it was like... <clears throat> I went in there one day and they had... <laughs> They had it sitting on the shelf, so I had bought something else, and uh, I actually walked out of the store, and I was walking away, and I'm like, I don't know when I'm ever going to see that set again, so I best just kind of go back. I actually gave myself a lot of time to think about it, um, kind of just like the toad board there. It was, I gave myself all the way to the car to think about it, and then... Uh, um, I came back and bought it. So yeah, I would say about a year ago, somewhere in that area, was about when I picked up that castle. But glad I did. It's not. I'm not like I like Disney stuff. I'm not huge, huge, huge on the Disney stuff, but uh, it's uh, it's good. It was a nice castle and stuff. If anything, I might end up building the uh, might end up building the. Uh, The, or the uh, rebrickable set out of that. That costume shop looks pretty cool. 
Hello, Snowlena. How are you doing? Remember when I got the $4,000 haul? So yeah, it was at Lego store today. About an hour ago. Yeah, cool. Cool, cool. Good morning, Snowlena. How are things there? All right, Chris, get your bags open. What is this? Oh, this isn't even... This is the surprise bag, so this isn't even a labeled bag, it's just a whole bag of goodies. More Technic stuff. All right. Oh no, never mind. That bag was inside the bag, but this bag's inside the bag. So, Lord of the Bricks. Monica, where's the cat? Where's the poo set? It's right. There. Sitting in the background. Hello, Miss Monica. How are you doing? All right. So you get all excited because you only have a couple bags to build, and then you open up the bags, and there's thousands and thousands of parts. So uh, that's good. That'll be our winch line, I'm sure. All right. Zeb, what is my favorite set? Um... My favorite set is nothing overly exciting. It's actually um, a combine that my daughter kind of made me purchase and then we got back into Lego together. So that is like kind of my favorite set. The, um, the stuff I like to look at the most though, like the my Star Destroyer, that is definitely uh, definitely one of my favorites. Um, I look at that thing every day. Very detailed. Um, I was almost going to buy a second one because they had one uh, at the Lego store. Um, with a damaged box. So it was extra VIP points and uh, um, I was kind of all over that and I let it go. And the funny thing is if you watch the last video I put up. Um, with Jeff there, Jeff Jeff actually ended up with that. So he was telling me, he was like, oh, I finally got the, I finally got the Star Destroyer. They had a damaged box. I'm like, that is sweet. Like, I'm so happy it went to someone that didn't have it and uh, is going to totally enjoy it. So that was a good day. So yeah, I could see how, uh, I could see how, um, hey Cosmo, how you doing? Uh, I can see how you could get really uh, messed up in this quick if I don't pay attention. So I'm going to do my best to pay attention to the chat and pay attention to what I'm doing because uh, um, you could get yourself in trouble with this uh, real quick like I'm sure. How can you not look at the Star Destroyer? It's huge. Yeah, it's the details in it though. That's what I like the most. And when I put all the lights into it, it's going to be gorgeous. Because that's going to have to happen. See, I already missed a step. Here we go. <laughs> Girlfriend call. I'll be right back. Yep. Grab that, Andrew. There we go. Problem. Danger averted. Hey Tommy, my night is going good. I hope everybody else's is going well. I hope, I hope. Oh, thank you very much Bradshaw Studio, you're too kind. That is very nice of you, I appreciate that. Uh, I was just reading, uh, Keelan's, hello Kevin. Just stopping by to say hi. It's late here, so I'm off to bed, but keep up the great work. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And yeah, get some sleep. It's late everywhere. There's my jammer. How you doing, buddy? Do I have the Razor Crest? I do have the Razor Crest up. Absolutely. I think it's a must. Two of these guys. <laughs> Chris, you build the Jeep, you can build the McLaren? Okay. Deal. 
deal, my friend. Yeah, my Lamborghini works. I usually don't miss steps. Usually don't miss too much. And if I do, I usually catch it a couple steps back and, uh, and deal with it. Those ones are going up, except for right now. Oh, well, that's why. What I did there. One, two. Let's go down. Well, that doesn't make sense already. I think they actually have a step in the instruction manual backwards. Hey, Doug, how's it going? You should put your Oilers hat on. They're playing today. Same with the Golden Knights. Hey, Bluebird, look at my hat. Do I have to take it off? It is my Oilers hat. Uh, Chris, let's race. 3, 2, 1. Yeah, you're going to win, buddy. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I uh, I don't motor too fast when I'm live streaming. I want to keep it, uh, keep everything in good form. So that goes there. I do, I do. But I don't know why. Oh, I see why. I figured I don't know. It's all good. All good in the hood. <laughs> see the hat now, buddy? Excellent. Excellent. I don't build like Mr. Brad there. Like That guy is lightning fast. It's ridiculous to watch him build. I get dizzy. Oh, <laughs> Yes, Nolena, they are playing in 49 minutes. Uh, and Tanjam didn't know I like minor league hockey. Oh, I love minor league hockey. That's all we have around here. <laughs> what is everybody else building? Anybody else building anything? Or are we all just kind of watching me do, watching me fail at this epic build? I'm going to have to pick parts with this because if I don't, I know I'm going to be going back a lot. Yeah, Chris, that would be a big backlog for sure. Got to get after it. Only takes time. <laughs> it's just ice football? Uh, well, yeah, no, no. Much more to it than ice football, for sure. Like that. This must be the gearbox. I don't know why I'm talking smack. The Blues are awful this year. Well, it's easy because I think we've all been there, my man. Like, uh, we're, uh, we all live in the tank every year, separate years for hockey and stuff like that. So it's a good thing is you can, you can feel the pain. It's important. You know what it's like. That's like that. Phoenix building the Coliseum. Awesome, that's a huge build. Yeah, the Knights are doing good. Snowlana's team just came back from a uh, couple weeks vacation from the old COVID there. So that's uh, it's good that everybody came back from that because that could be a scary situation. It took out pretty much the whole team. It was ridiculous. Now nah, the 34 made your hair stand on your neck. Yeah. Yeah, I was pretty excited to get that thing running, that's for sure. I, uh, I'm not going to lie. So, you guys only got to see a small part of me getting that motorbike started. Um, I was kicking that thing over for probably about 30 minutes it was like my legs were numb I could barely stand like it was it was getting bad because uh, that thing um, 
a lot of tuning to do to get it to that point. Krish, when is the next video? I'm anxious. Uh, probably not tonight. Um, soon. Soon, yeah. I want to. I think I want to do the uh, um, Batman cowl. Someone was asking me about the Batman cowl, and I'd like to get it done for him because they were questioning about it. Walter Barntrop is hi from the Netherlands. Hi, well, hello. <laughs> Insomnia is at least good for live streams about hockey. Bruins fan here. Well, we all have our problems. Water barn tropicals. Um, no, I'm just kidding. One of my one of my employees at work there. He's a huge Bruins fan. Um, but yeah, it's. I mean, like I said, every every team can uh, go into the tank at any given point. So I love it when people talk smack because you know it's only a matter of time before things go sideways. My favorite modular set? Hmm. Favorite modular set would be. I don't even really know. I, I kind of got a few that are. It's more of the idea set. So that old time fishing cabin, I think I, I love that thing. Um, that thing, or if you want to consider that a modular. Uh, the firehouse is one of my favorites. I do like that thing. Um, I don't know. I kind of, I kind of like them all the same for different reasons. There, there's a couple that I, they're kind of meh, whatever. But I think they could be built into something a lot better, which would be cool. Holy crap! But um, other than that, yeah, I don't know. I. Uh, I kind of hold a, a value to all of them, just in different ways. Phoenix, Avs fan, good team. Who knows, maybe the COVID is like the super soldier serum, <laughs> yeah. It's kind of seeming that way. Um, I was supposed to head to BC next week, but I don't think that's going to happen. BC is now locking down again I, th I guess I heard on the news or whatever I heard a little blurb there before so we'll see what that looks like because of course I want everybody to stay safe and I want to be safe and it's ugly it's ugly everywhere that's the problem this way have you ever bought a Lego book for a minifigure. Yes. I have them right down here, actually. Uh, the uh, the last one I bought, actually, the, the, the only one I bought, because the other ones were gifted to me, the only one I bought because of a minifigure was just that guy. Because I wanted, whoop, where is he? Him. I wanted the orange space guy. So, I bought that set for it. I like going through those anyway, because I get a lot of minifigures in bulk lots and that sort of stuff that I buy, so when I do that, I like... Uh, I like going through to see what I got and what have you. Favorite of the nine helmets or the eight helmets so far, or nine if I count Batman. Um, Tie fighter pilot, uh, scout trooper is knocking on the door, like. I would, yeah, I would have to say TIE Fighter Pilot and then Scout Trooper. And then Stormtrooper Darth. Boba Fett's right in there. It's it's a tough one. That is a tough one. Um, but yeah, the TIE Fighter Pilot was probably one of my favorites right off the start. I really, really wanted that one. That was the most important one for me to get. So super glad I did. And where is this? This guy. Yeah, it's been opening and closing down, opening and closing down. Yeah, it's kind of the way it's been everywhere. So, um, not fantastic, obviously. 
I think it's almost to the point just to shut it down and get this place good again. But that's depressing, so let's move on to something not depressing. That's what we're here for. Forget about the woes for a little bit. What Black Series do I have on the wall? I have my Darth Vader. Um, my Darth Maul and uh, Clone Commander Wolf is up there. Looks like you have won this race. Continue my build tomorrow. I have some work to do with some stuff. Excellent. I'm happy to win. Happy to take the win. Yeah. Yeah, the TIE pilot. He's it's it's phenomenal. I love the way they did that TIE pilot helmet. It's awesome. I have to turn the camera around to show uh if Sammy Sammy shows up there cuz Sammy was asking about the uh <clears throat> the TIE Fighter helmet. And uh, I said, well, if you uh, if you show up, I'll turn the camera around and you can check it out. Or he was asking about all the helmets, what they look like on the shelf. How do you like the build so far? My wife bought me the Jeep as a gift for the weekend. I haven't built it yet. Um, so far, so good. It's, uh, it's going to be one of those sets. It's, it's like I'm going to I'm going to enjoy it later. So um, any of you who haven't tried doing this while doing this, um, it's something else. So it's tough to try to keep up with you guys because I definitely want to read all your chat. And um, I'm a curiosity. I'm a curious cat. So um, <laughs> I like to make sure I try to get everybody taken care of. And in the same breath, enjoy what I'm doing or enjoy what I'm building, right? And not screw it up so bad where I have to sit here and stare at it <laughs> for 10 minutes and wonder if uh, if it's savable. Um, but yeah, so far so good. And it's it's like any Technic stuff. I, I'm i a technical guy, so I really I really dig this stuff. I really get into it because it's uh, it makes you think. It makes you work for it. Um, I've said it before. Anybody can slop together Lego. You know, if you take your time and, and that sort of thing, which is a good thing, that's what you want. But when you get into this stuff where you have to really think about it and uh, process it, there's a lot more involved, which is great. Oh, I did that wrong. So I'm going to undo that. All right, and then it goes here and here. Excellent. So yeah, and then like anything with this stuff, you'll get into uh, you'll get in this in the areas where it just it'll start to fly. But when you're doing the diffs and stuff, it's uh, it's pretty crucial to to uh, pay attention to what you're doing, and <laughs> otherwise you can have something that doesn't work really fast. You should set up a set up uh, Edmonton meet when things open up yeah uh, you know what I'm uh, for the, for those of you who follow anything I do I am very much a creature of habit so and I am not you know I, I really enjoy meeting people and that sort of stuff so um, that being said you know like if Saturdays I'm usually at West Edmonton Mall usually and then unless I'm out my motorbike or what have you and <laughs> time for another coffee. Um, so yeah, I'm usually a West Ed on, on Saturdays and stuff and like don't be afraid to come say hello because I'm not, I don't bite. Not too much. Do you have the motorbike yet or is it still on your list? Uh, Tommy, are you talking about like the Ducati or the Harley? Because the Harley I have the Ducati I haven't bought, not in the, uh, uh, not in the Technic stuff. Oilers prediction for tonight? Hmm. We're playing Montreal. 4-1 Edmonton. Hmm. And I'm not taking any bets, Snow Lena, so don't even try. <laughs> That's when I lose badly. 
goes there. I really enjoyed your last video. Yeah, I did really get on a whole bunch of good stuff. Um, the Tommy Cosmo, the Technic one is the Ducati. Um, that's out. Um, yeah, I did get my hands on a lot of neat stuff. And you know what? It kind of it kind of piled up fast, actually, because I was, I was actually thinking, like, I always try to think a little bit ahead of um, <laughs> what's going on and what I'm going to have to put in the videos for you guys. And um, I didn't think I was going to have a lot until I started, like, laying it out. I'm like, oh, Lord, I, I, uh, I picked up some stuff. And then, yeah, Jeff was a big surprise. He really stepped up. That was awesome. Um, and uh, <laughs> I totally wasn't expecting that. He blew me away. And for that, I'm super thankful because for many reasons. A, I've got another collecting buddy, which is great. And you know what? He becomes, he kind of comes into, uh, um, he comes into the, uh, Hey, Jane Doe, how are you doing? Dropping in for a five-minute break to say hi and offer some support. Sorry, I can't be around to watch. Ah, it's all good. We'll catch you on the next one for sure, and I'm sure I'll be seeing you in a little build video or a little build session at some point here. Um, and I totally forgot what I was talking about. Oh, yeah, so the, um, you know, not only like with me, my friends <laughs> become a package deal, whether everybody likes it or not, you know, so even Tan Jam, like he'll be in the list and we'll be all trying to help each other out, locate this Black Series stuff. Um, Brick and Brood, my good buddy. Uh, um, I don't know if Jeff's here. He might be. He'll say something if he is, I'm sure. And, uh, yeah, and that's all I have to say about Brick and Brood uh, now that he's back. I, I don't want him to hear too much about what we were talking about, but... Um, <laughs> just kidding uh same thing with brick and brood he's been he's been very diligent in the toronto region helping helping a fellow helping a buddy out so um amazing like i said amazing oh wrong one we gotta try to find um Gotta try to find the right pieces. There it is. So I always say that, okay, I gotta pick parts and I'm gonna pick parts and we're gonna make sure that we do this right. And then I pick parts for about two steps and then I stop. <laughs> then I'm having to go back and find stuff and gotta find a happy medium in between that. Doodly doo. Brudski. Oh. He's gone Canadian, the Brutski. Yeah, for those of you who don't watch Andrew's channel yet, please do. Entertaining cat, that fella. Entertaining cat. Sorry, right, I'm going to focus on a couple steps here and we'll get it. Hey, Brickster, how you doing? Where's Brudski? I don't even see him. You love that at Tan Jam? At Tan Jam, um, we learned something today, didn't we? we? We learned that when you have a friend that lives in the U.S. of A. and you live in Canada, and you may or may not have set up your cell phone service properly, um, that it gets pretty expensive to, <laughs> talking to your American buddy. It was $300 today. My wife calls me and she goes, so, hey, Tim, how's it going, buddy? He says, uh, he says, um, or my wife messages me at work and she goes, so, you know, you, uh, Tanja, I'm there? I'm like, yeah. 
yeah, so your guys' conversations are about uh, $300. I'm like, oof, that sounds expensive. And then she managed calling uh, Roger. Rogers was down all day today. They had major issues and what have you. And she ended up getting hold of Rogers. And um, he, uh, <laughs> they, they're like, oh, okay, yeah, no, there's some mistakes here and this and that. And my wife made, like, she told them, she's like, you know, he deals with the U.S. quite a bit. So, like, he had set up his phone to be this way. So they ended up knocking it down to, it was, I don't know, a hundred and something I don't even know was it like 111 bucks or what have you and and then they gave me a deal on the the US package it's supposed to be five dollars a month or something like that so they ended up giving uh, hey Brickster did I ever say hi to you I think I did um, <laughs> no she's not cursing you she's cursing me um, so they uh, they ended up giving us a break on the um, package deal so as of tomorrow I can message my southern counterpart as much as I want and not have to worry about getting yelled at <laughs> she never yelled at me she was laughing about it she goes you guys' bromance is very costly yeah, it happens I built this set a couple of months ago and it's definitely my favorite technique set this far really? yeah um I think it's going to be cool. I think it, uh, you'll, you'll probably say yes to this. I think it's a very playable set, right? So like if I give this to my, uh, my grandson, he'll be, uh, blasting this thing around. And of course it's Technic, so it's not like it's going to just fall apart on you if you squeeze too hard. Cause that happens with other sets. A friend told me. Yeah, Tommy, you said that today. Your power was out. So were they just doing... Uh, were they just doing... Um, just maintenance in your area? Or what was happening? Because that, that, that would suck to be out your power for the whole day. And this goes here. Yeah, No, you're not chopped liver, Jane Doe. You're the bestest. <laughs> or did he forget to mention you? Well. Yeah, Wendy, she she is a wizard. The um it's kind of I think it's kind of a a curse, well, like a blessing and a curse there cuz so all day today I'm with Roger's communication up here and all day today our phones weren't working. Rogers was uh, was down and they were down for I don't know they were they were saying maintenance. So I'm like, okay, whatever's like but my work phone like my work phone rings through my work phone and then it goes to oh car accident, that's no good. Um <laughs> Brad the Builder, you're getting some technic before the weekend? Yes. Um They were doing some uh maintenance and what have you and and uh or they were, they were setting up their new... I can't remember what they said they were doing. They are setting up their new... Um, I did this wrong. 5G network or something like that. And uh, But for whatever reason, they decided today was the day to do it. And yeah, they've made a lot of people not happy today. All right, Jane Doe, we will talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Um... Yeah, Brad the Builder, you're going to get those those fingers nimbled up for the old... It's not even a build-off. Tandem and I were talking, but we'll have to talk in a little bit to see exactly when we're going to do it. Um, I'm excited for that build, though. That's going to be a lot of fun. And we'll discuss that a little bit more at the end here when I, when I can concentrate fully. Because right now, I screwed up. But it's totally fixable, I think. Yep, it is. I gotta just flip this guy. No, that's right. No, that's wrong. Alright, fixed it. Problem solved. So this is obviously gonna be for the steering mechanism. Um, yep, that's cool. And then that's gonna be for yeah. 
Neat. All right, so this is going to go at the back of the Jeep, I'm assuming, and this is going to be just for the steering mechanism. Let's see if we can get it in there. So they just have that wheel on the back, but on the, on the box you can see that wheel coming out the back, and then they've got this guy coming up the front end, so... <laughs> Brad, when is yours supposed to be there? Do you know? Because Tanjam is the other question. Um, I think Tanjam's supposed to have his pretty quick. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I think, I think. <laughs> All right, so this guy and this guy, I need a drink. Yeah, and then we're gonna see what my distraction level's like once the Oilers game starts, because <laughs> I've got the TV playing over there. I've got um, you guys in front of me my number one importance and then I've got um, instructions in a Jeep to uh, Tanjam end of day tomorrow and it should be here this week for sure excellent and then maybe we'll reveal what we're doing at the end of this video if you guys are okay with that we'll uh, just give me a heck yeah and we'll talk about that later because I'm really pumping this build out like nobody's business not at all. Hey, Motorman idiot. What's going eight? What's going on? I ordered something on this weekend. I should have it by Wednesday, Thursday. Yeah, excellent. That UK shipping is unreal. Yeah. If, uh, yeah, you can. If both of those guys give me the thumbs up that we can discuss it, then, um, We'll discuss it right away. And then I can be even more distracted of what I'm doing. All right, picking parts again for the next couple steps because I always feel anxiety about I'm gonna miss something here. But it's a nice thing about Technic, it's um, pretty easy to come apart and put back together so we could always figure out what's going on oh, that's cool love how rigid it gets you do a couple steps and then uh, I'm okay it'll be probably in bed by the end though hello <laughs> yeah well you're building the big one buddy so uh, Tanjam and I have already decided <laughs> We'll take the smaller builds, and you'll still probably have to take breaks. I'm guessing. Yeah, you're good. All right, so those guys are good with uh, what's going on. So what we're gonna do is we gotta set up. We're gonna set up a stream, and we're all gonna build. Um, we all got the Technic Libra. So uh, Tanjam and I kind of started talking about it, and it, it was unfair to Brad, but. Brad is a very fast builder, so um, Brad is going to build the full Libra, which I'm probably going to end up doing as well because I want both pieces. I'm going to build the Johnny 5, and I think Tanjam's going to build uh, R2-D2, and we'll build them all together. So it's all the same set, but it's like the three, the two alternative builds and then the build that's that set. So um, <laughs> I've actually been looking forward to doing this for a bit because it's... Uh, I've really wanted to, ever since I've seen that Johnny Five, it's been like, a, oh yeah, this has got to happen. Like, this isn't a, this isn't a, a maybe, it's a when. And that's kind of where we're at right now. And um, so, Brad ordered his the other day. Uh, Tanner had found one on, um, did you find it on Macari? I think you found it on Macari. And... Uh, I had mine because so, I'm weak. So, um, yeah, that is that is going to be the plan for that set. So it should be kind of cool. It'll be all of us building it up, and, and uh, I screwed up here. 
Why did I do that for? I know what I did. That goes that way. Yeah, I did that. I did that. So yeah, that should be pretty fun and uh, a lot of fun. There'll be a lot of involvement, and then yeah, if anybody else has one they want to build on at the same time, then yeah, like I, like we always said, the more the merrier, right? So. Um, uh, yeah, Brad got his after the tremendous peer, peer pressure. So those of you who haven't talked to Brad too much, right, he usually doesn't say a lot. He's usually just head down building. And it's like, he's like the Edward Scissorhands of Lego. There's, there's stuff flying everywhere. And no, it's not that bad. He, but he builds like a rocket ship. Like it's fast. And, uh, I can't remember what we were doing. We we're all building one night, and uh, um, <laughs> he was. Uh, I'm just watching him crank out set after set. I'm like, "What is, what is this guy doing, man?" I'm trying to just have a good time and listen to what people are saying. And I wasn't wasn't even under the pressure of having a live stream on the go and trying to focus on chat. It was it was literally like just. And then I got focused on him and it was like, oh man, this guy, this guy's fast. So that is why he has to build the full set. And part of me is extremely nervous that like Tanner and I are going to be at stage five and Brad's going to be like hammered out. This thing's going to be done. He's already taken it apart and build Johnny five. Like it's going to be, yeah, <laughs> Brad. <laughs> was the peer pressure. Hey, Brad, you should join us. Yeah. Um, thanks, Brixter. I appreciate that. Tanjam, you're laughing because it's true, right? Like, you're picking up what I'm putting down here. The guy's lightning. Canadian lightning. I was going to ask him a question today, too, and I can't remember what it was. I can't remember. I had a specific question for Brad. But it'll come back to me, I'm sure. So yeah, those are our plans. That's going to be our next live stream. I know there's a whole bunch of people asking about, um, am I going to build the Ferrari live? Um, sure, I probably will. Um, that's going to be a big one. Yeah, he's got the builder in his name for sure. Speed builder. Yeah, that's that's pretty much how it went. Brad, when that happened, when Brad bought it, he just went quiet for a couple minutes. He was unsupervised. He picked up his phone, and I'm like, oh, Brad's taking five. I've got time to do what I want to do and this and that. And then all of a sudden, he's like, okay, I bought it. <laughs> it was perfect. You make me laugh, Brad. Yeah, right? I know. He puts me to shame. Today in Building with Brad, I'm just going to rock out this Libra five minutes later. So, let's do a review on it. It's probably about accurate timing. The only thing I could say is that if I'm in control of the stream, then I can actually, um, I could actually, like, shut it down and say we had technical difficulties hopefully oh crap I think I forgot something here no yes I did see I did that that was there Toadborg you beat him on the spring lantern set did you start it three days before him <laughs> The build so far is pretty darn good, actually. Um, yeah, like I said, it. So the tech, the technic stuff. The thing that people get messed up on this is if you do make a mistake with it, uh, it's usually duplicated. Like on the vehicles, at least, it's usually duplicate. Sorry, duplicated on the other side. So like just now, I forgot. I was yapping away, and I because I don't pick my parts, and I and I I missed out putting this orange piece and this black piece in on the other side. But it's it's literally a quick look, and away you go. Um, 
it's uh, so if you take your time with it and you and you uh, just outthink it, then um, usually you can get yourself out of out of trouble and what have you. So, and that's where we're at. And then I always happen to look at um, I I look at the uh, the book and I'll and I'll pick a couple pieces and I'll make sure that that colors there. So with the technic stuff, a lot of times you'll see that you get all these different colors. Well, they do that for a good reason. And the reason is that you can pick it out of your book really quick. At least that's what I tell myself. The only thing I'll have to knock against the Technic, if you're not used to it, the gray, the dark gray and the black, when you first get started, um, you know, you can confuse a few colors and that bulk lot I bought, I did that. So the whole first truck I built, I built it in, um, I built it in a dark gray and it was supposed to be a black. I'm like, oh crap, well, something down the line is going to be all dark gray and this is going to be all black or whatever. And yeah, it was what it, I mean, still turns out and it still turns out nice and stuff like that. It's just not 100%. <laughs> Snowlana, you are the greatest person in the Southern Hemisphere. You're going to give her a complex, my friend. Nah, she is. She is a good girl. Great mod. All right, so we get to do our first sticker. And, they, you know, one thing Technic doesn't give you is the... Uh, yeah, definitely take your time when you're building Technic. Take your time and nothing will... I mean, you can always... Like I said, you catch it soon enough, you can go back and... Uh, <laughs> You take your time, you can go back and catch mistakes you made and stuff like that. He totally waited for Jane Doe to leave before he said that. There we go. So two stickers are going in here. And, uh, yeah, that's funny. Just the, it's literally the seat backs and, I don't know. They're, um like the seat cushions. So those went on, not bad. There's a there's a gap in the middle, I don't know if you'll even see it. There's a gap in the middle of the uh, the seat there, but they're hard to see. It's just, you, you see the red stitching and it says Rubicon in it, so. Put it on the bottom, put it on the top. That's it, makes it ability to fly through, yeah. Mr. Easy Craftsman, how are you doing, my friend? Uh, excellent videos. You, you've had me in stitches the past couple days, buddy. Good job, good work. Of course, anybody who's on Instagram, you must be following uh, Easy Craftsman. He's a funny dude. Uh, the VW T1 camper is terrible for black and dark and the gray. Is it terrible in the instructions? Because, yeah, it's, uh, um, I've had a few sets like that where the instruction back hasn't, uh, hasn't helped me out at all, for sure. But again, if, I mean, if we're live building, it probably sucks a little bit more than if, you know, I'm just building by myself and uh, even when I build, when I do my videos and stuff and I do the time lapse, like the time lapse obviously doesn't give you a great representation of how long it took to build the set. Um, Cause yeah, it, it seems like it goes really fast, but you'll see me stop in there and those stops are like me just zoning out because usually I have my TV going on in the background and like the other day I was watching my F1 race was on so I'm watching the F1 race and something's going on so like I stopped for a couple minutes and but you don't even really see that in the uh, um, see that in the video and uh, so which is good because it still allows you to see the build kind of rip through and then we can talk about it at the end and the kind words no you totally earned them buddy they're uh you do a really good job, and if people don't follow you, well, they should. Uh, 
Ren, is it almost the same color in the instructions? Um, no, it's not. The, the, this one's actually pretty good. And the reason it's pretty good, I think, is because it has, I don't know if you can see that. Where's my overhead? So in this one, it's not bad because you have the white background. So you can see, like there's light gray and dark gray in this guy. The black sticks out. They did a pretty good job of the black. You can see the black on that one. Where's my book? The black side piece. But yeah, if you if you lose track of what's going on for just a few minutes, then uh, yeah, it can it can sting you. But you usually find out <laughs> when you're looking for the next piece in the bag and you're you're scrumming you're you know you're scrounging through here and what have you, and it's like. Why can't I find the stupid piece? Like when I first started, like actually tonight, when I first started off, the first purse, first piece I took was actually this guy right here. No, it's one on the inside. It's this black piece and it's a, it's the L, but it has the three dots on the bottom. Well, I couldn't find, uh, couldn't find it. And it, it turned out because I was looking for a dark gray, not a uh, black. So just stuff like that. But like I said, you breathe for a couple minutes and it'll come back to you. Slow down, slow everything down. Just like now, I thought I had both those pieces in my hand and uh, clearly I didn't. Or I set it down somewhere while I was yapping. And there it is, found it. Uh, on that topic, I have a box and a few coffee cans and a Greedo tucked away for you. Yeah, yeah, we got to get together someday, buddy. Um, it'll happen. We'll get there. Maybe this, I don't know what's happening this weekend. What's this weekend? I don't know. Maybe Saturday. We'll see. See what's shaking. I'm waiting for some nice weather. I wanted to, um, I wanted to get on my bike this weekend and take off for a bit, but that didn't happen. We had stuff we had to take care of on Saturday and uh, we got all that done and then by the time I got all that done it was kind of not ready for go for a ride so yeah it's close it's close Brendan it's close but it's um this one is uh this one's good I like the way they did this one I just screwed this up though see talking away talking away There we go. So this is going to be obviously the steering axle, which is cute. A couple of these guys. Oh, the camper van instructions. Okay, now I'm understanding. So yeah, the camper van instructions are very close. Yeah. I haven't built mine, uh, have I? Nope, I haven't built mine yet. It's in the backlog shelf, so... Well, maybe we'll do that in the live stream too. So much to build. So far behind. So what's, uh, let's do this. Let's play this game. What's, um, what's everybody's want set? If you could have one set out of all of Lego creations, and let's say it could be even Bricklink, Whatever it may be. What is your one, what's your white whale? What is your set that you would want the most? That's a good question. Solid question, Kev. Doodly doo. <laughs> Cosmo, are you going to... Was that going to be, they came up with a huge Technic Jeep? That DeLorean does look sick, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. So you had a GSXR, yeah. So um, 600, yeah, a Technic, huge Technic Jeep. I agree with you, Cosmo. That's absolutely, I would love them to do a big one, I think. Motorized, perhaps, even. Super Star Destroyer? Yeah. See, Alex, that's probably that's probably high on my list, too. Very high on my list. Brick and Brood wants... Oh, the Ninjago City brand new in box? Oh. Hmm. I think I might know where one of those is. Deep Freeze Defender? 
A separate shuttle. Yeah, another good choice. Toadberg, what was your white whale? I can't remember. I think you said it the other night, but I can't remember. Crater Expert Jeep, yeah. Mine, I'm thinking, would probably be the Super Star Destroyer, because, um, like I said before, I got rid of a lot of stuff, and that was one of the ones that I got rid of. And uh, Creator Sydney Opera House. Yeah, that's a nice set. Um... Fire Brigade, yeah, that was that was a, what I said was probably one of my um, favorite modulars, and that's another one that I got rid of, sadly. The Super Star Destroyer, mm, and I. The funny thing is, I I didn't even I forgot I owned it. I forgot I had it, which is terrible. And just some Facebook memory came across, and it was like, um, <laughs> it was that thing I right where I'm sitting right now there used to be a pool table here and I used the pool table for like holding all my big sets because I didn't have any more room where I was building and what have you so um I forgot a step so uh no I didn't that's right there I put them on the wrong way though so I had uh I had sold it I guess at some point so that that's probably the one I would want back. <laughs> yeah, Tanjam, you've had a good year, my friend. You've had a solid year. Ghostbusters HQ, UCS Imperial Shuttle. Hey, Seth Belts, don't don't you hate when you get rid of sets? You yeah, I do. Um, there is not a lot that I've gotten rid of that I actually like super duper regret. The Fire Brigade is one. Um, I had all the modulars. Uh, the only one I didn't have actually was Brick Bank. Um, so that's part of my mission is I'll, I'll be kind of jumping back on that and getting after collecting all that stuff again because um, I most definitely want to get my hands on that stuff. So now I've totally screwed something up here and i got to figure out what come down in the middle yep oh that's what that's what perfect I didn't screw anything up Sanctum Sanctorium so that's a set I didn't own um, <laughs> yeah, a Black Series White Whale figure. I think he's completed those as well, easy. Um, the Sanctum Sanctorium, I've never owned it, but I've always wanted to do the, um, the, like buy a couple of them, build it up. The issue is I'm always late to the party, so when I see them come up on my classifieds, I'm like... <laughs> It's there and it's gone, or you know, I miss it by minutes, sort of thing. So, um, eventually, I'll get it. And yeah, I want to build that up too. That's a good one. I guess, I guess, yeah. Tanjam still has a couple on his. Uh, he's got like that one up there. He really wants. I keep showing it to him. I'm working on it for him. I know a guy who knows a guy who's got a line on some knockoff Darth Mauls. In his defense, he's, he, he's been pretty good. If I ask him not to buy something, he's actually not bad. For the most part. Oh, someone in Edmonton selling the thing? How much do they want for it, though, Seth? Is it, uh, 
Um, is it astronomically priced? <laughs> oh, Tanjam, you have a problem when it comes to purchasing. Um, yeah, Seth, let me know. Is that on Kijiji or is it on Marketplace or where is it at? Because I'd be interested. I, I think there was a guy up there, but he, he wanted like 400 bucks for the silly thing. I'm like, no, I'm good. I'll take a used one because I just want to, I want, I need a couple of them. Yeah, he's around 300 bucks. Because um, I want a couple of them. So I'm trying to curb the cost as much as I can. And they, they do come around for like a reasonable price. So I'll be patient. Something I'm not good at, but I will be patient. Someday I'll be good at being patient. Probably not. Facebook Marketplace, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> May is a different month, indeed. But May, uh, easy. you have to remember that in May, Tanjam is going to buy the, Dar the Darth, or sorry, the um, R2-D2 that he didn't want. Alex, any mocks in the works? Um, yes, there is. And uh, perhaps I will share that with you guys because that's actually uh, something I actually just I discussed with Jeff the other day when I was talking to him. Hey, Sarah. Um, so what I and if you watch the video, the last video I did, what the heck did I do here? Um, if you watched the last video I did, there was, uh, I picked up a whole bunch of, um, it's going to be, uh, or I picked up a whole bunch of transparent red and yellow and orange. So what I want to do is actually, um, I'm going to take my Darth Vader's castle that we put the lights in. <laughs> so see, he's just you heard it here first he's getting the r2 that he wasn't going to get that's funny um i'm going to build that darth vader's castle which is sitting i'm keep looking at it because it's sitting at the end of my desk right here um i'm going to build it up on a platform and then i'm going to take all my black tile and i'm going to make a um basically a lava flow like out of the lava flow that's on the tower and I'm going to light up underneath and then I'm going to have that glowing the lava which is going to be all the tiles or all the dots and that sort of stuff so that is going to be probably the next mock I start working on and then I'll just get that built up and it's just kind of going to be like a a little display piece for the um, for a shelf and then I got to determine what shelf so this guy, man, I screwed this all up. I should probably be paying better attention, but I didn't. So we've got to change some things, which is all good. Maybe. This is ugly. Spoke too soon about just being able to change it up. So I don't know why, but for some reason I flipped that around and I already took this one piece out, but uh, it's all good. We'll get it. Goes together strong. The official date for R2. So here's, here's my question to everybody, because I was, I was thinking about this today actually. So I think the official date for R2, and you guys will correct me if I'm wrong, is the first. So yeah, so Alex just said the first. So what happens then if, so that goes there, yeah. So what happens then if um, on the fourth, when they have all the promotions, they're out of the R2-D2s, uh, then what? Because that's kind of what I've been 
staring down the barrel of because it you know it, it, it'll suck that if you can't if a person can't get because there's not a lot that my issue is there's not a lot that I need um, to pick up so if they don't have the R2 that I want how am I going to get the promotions hey Tishon how you doing welcome welcome So yeah, there's my issue. Yeah, Seth, like that's right. That's our that's our problem. Is if that everybody buys it out, then where are you at? And I mean, with me, I'm not even I'm not even worried about getting the R2. I know I'll eventually get the R2. That's not the issue. The bigger issue is that I, I kind of want the promotions. And even though it's going to be, I think it's a uh, it's a Tatooine set, I believe. Tanjem will correct me. You think they'll start the promotions on the first? Well, if that's the case, then I'm getting mine on the first. <laughs> hey Mac, how you doing, buddy? No, it's not the best, but I don't know. I've you know what? I've collected every one of them through and through, and it's kind of one of those things I just don't want to stop now. I went to the Lego store recently and I found some great pieces. What'd you find? Tell us. All right. Man, we're getting through our issues here. <laughs> getting through my whoopsies. So that one's going to go there. That one's going to go there. Have I gotten the final duel? Yep. Uh, maybe I'd have to check I would have to check I'm pretty sure I do no I don't like the set I, ha I don't have that set yet Tanjama you're right I don't so that would be one I guess I could scoop up I guess Okay, so now that we've got everything, I think, one hundy. Oh, what did I do here? Why did I do it this way? Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're set. Does it get a, a bunch of little construction pieces that are ten bricks tall? I also got some other great pieces. I actually made a video on it. A pebble. Oh, nice. Good job. Um, yeah, they, you know what, Seth? They may have a ton of them. Um, yeah, you know what? I could pick that one up for the promo and then just wait for the, wait for the R2 to come back because it's, uh, like I said, it's going to be one of those things that'll probably sell out fast and people will be all gaga over it and whatever, but. It is what it is. It you know we'll get it. Everybody will get it. That's the that's the end thing, and that's the big thing for me is that uh, you know game started. I've got it on 1939. Um, thanks, Nolena. Um, the uh, you know I've I've come to learn that there's there's certain things that um, there's certain things that people rush out to get and what have you, and it's kind of just the the May 4th thing is more of a, I'm going to go hang out with my buddy, Matthew, and we're going to go just uh, have a good day. I took the day off work, and um, I'm going to uh, enjoy the day. Just chilling with a buddy. And if I get R2 that day, great. If I don't, great. That set you're building looks cool. Thanks, Tishon. This is the uh, Technic Jeep. That one, huh? Can you see the box? Yeah, you can see the box. Yeah, I hope you get that castle. Because, you know what? I think you'll be totally fine, Tanner. They're, they're, um... Someone else told me the other day they were, they, they were waiting to get it. And then once they saw the build, too, they were like, oh, okay. 
who the heck was telling me that? Um, I can't even remember now. But yeah, it's the castle's cool. I, and like I was telling, I was telling them, well, the castle's kind of one of those things that they're asking about lighting it up, and I'm like, yeah, you know, light it up. And uh, and they're like, oh, is it worth the light up? I'm like, yeah, for sure. I said the only. Uh, I said the only problem with it is that you don't know how to display it once you light it up because it's like <laughs> lighting it up looks better almost from the back side than it does the front side right so you need it on a rotator yeah Bretzky sold you his Vader's castle that is correct I have five UCS Star Wars waiting to be built well I mean anytime Andrew you want to send those on over here my friend <laughs> I'll give you my list and I'll send them right back to you. I promise. Thanks, Hasbricks. Yep. Having a blast. We'll see you later. You need to look at a link at ASAP after the stream. I'll take a look at it, Brendan. You betcha. You betcha. See, now the super distraction comes in because the Oilers are in the background. And there's a lot of sticky pucky going, oh, and this step's, this step's getting intense. So you've got to pay attention. Got to pay attention. Look up every now and then, see if a goal's been scored. Maybe I'll just catch the highlights. Who am I kidding? They're not going to score a goal to the third period. See you later, buddy. Thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. You come here, Andrew. It's safer. <laughs> I got voicemails coming in. I've got a whole bunch of stuff on the go going on. No one ever wants to get a hold of me until I get going. I agree with you. The R2D2 at Costco yesterday selling the grow 80 bucks again yeah i saw that they had i was at costco the other day too yeah i like those jerseys snowing i like that black and orange they look menacing what looks weird is the pads mike smith's wearing because he's wearing his white stuff <laughs> the Oilers don't distract you at all. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. <laughs> and then, oh, see, I might have already screwed that up. I did screw that up. No, I didn't. Yes, I did. What am I doing? Stop it. Nope, that's right. That's right. I'm okay. And I need these two guys. Perfect. Millennium Falcon, Soundcrawler, Star Destroyer, Death Star, and Snowspeeder. I'll be grabbing a wing during promos as well. Uh, that Snowspeeder is the one I need. Definitely. Don't have one. Had a chance to buy one cheap too. Didn't do it. Kicking myself now. Oh well. I tend, I tend to kick myself an awful lot. Oh, that's why. But, you know what? Some of that stuff, I don't pick it up all the time right away, and I get it later, and it's probably a good thing. Plus, I'm, I'm still trying to buy backlog and stuff from when I had sold stuff off, so I'll get it in time. Just kind of hope for a couple dry months so that I don't have to spend a lot of Do you Seth? Cool. Let's not say where that is though. <laughs> when we're not in lockdown, Nate, anytime. Yeah. Nate, 
uh, Andrew promised me he'll bring over all his sets and you can just come over here and we'll build everything and then leave it here that's what I heard I may be wrong which desk are Andrew oh yeah I think he has the same one I got to build I've got mine at the other side of my desk there too the play one I actually had gotten rid of my other one and I don't miss it so there's that you're working on homework right now that's a good thing to do homework and building Lego sweet You'll bring the brewski? Done. Let's do it. Stuff is not getting put together properly, but hey, it's not ours. Just kidding, Andrew. We'd take very good care of all your Lego. Yeah, you know what? The funny thing is, <laughs> I'm not scared. Like, we're not scared of what Kirsten will do to you. I'm more scared of what your wife's going to do to me because uh, there's that slight en enablation thing that happened with um, with that Black Series stuff. So, like I said, when we get together, I'll be, I'll be talking to you like this and I'll be looking at your wife with this eye so that when she comes in a swing and I know to get out of the way. I've been working on modifying my assembly square and adding another floor, both sections of it. That'll be cool. That'd be neat to see. Have I gotten involved with the raffles? Nope, not yet. Haven't done anything with that. Not at all. I probably should. I don't have much luck with that stuff, but you know what? You're not going to have any luck unless you give it a shot too, right? So there's that. There is that. Excellent there. These two. So yeah, I think I think kind of what this is gonna be one of those sets like what once all this stuff's done, then yeah, I think we're gonna start motoring through the uh, motoring through the thing. <laughs> so violence, yeah. No, there'll be violence. They'll probably just you know what? They'll probably just trade Tanjo. I'm I'm pretty sure that um, they've are there are they'll already work out plans of how to attack both of us at the same time. So I think we'll be okay. We just need to run, scream a lot. I'll light up the barbecue. Oh yeah, popcorn. There will be it will be an adventure. I'm sure. Almost a thousand percent positive. I thought I didn't have any luck. Apparently, I did with it. What did you end up? What did you win, Seth? What did you get? Talk, talk, talk. Always interested. Like I said, I see them all the time, but I just never, never pull the trigger on it. I should. I really should. So, I gotta do a couple of these. Hey, I'm even, I'm even catching the two time stuff now. That's awesome. Yeah, I just need to be faster than Tanjam. I'm gonna say right now, uh, I'm not gonna be faster than Tanjam. But I might outthink them. <laughs> I'll just trip them. <laughs> Craftsman, at least you've got that big UCS ball <laughs> to hide behind. Oh, that's funny. Funny guy. Didn't you see the girl's reaction when he opened up that box, Tan Jam? They were all very excited about his Millennium Falcon. I love that. I was dying.
Smells like something's being delivered to my house right now. Now, uh, apparently, because I was paying such close attention to everything, not at all. Oh, that's why. Never mind. I kind of screwed up, but not really. I just wasn't paying attention. Like that. There we go. We just got to do two of those. The Grand Piano Hogwarts Crest and Night Bus. I traded last two in and got the shuttle. Wow, that is impressive, buddy. That is impressive. That is a good haul. Good job. That is lucky. There we go. And there we go. Those two go up there. Couple shocks. This gets confusing because it starts turning it around every which way here. There we go. So shocks are actually on like a totally different, that's cool. So flip that upside down and we need a couple of these guys. Where'd they go? I just saw them right here and right here. Uh, ever just buy a set for the blocks, even if you didn't like the figures? Uh, no, I usually pick up stuff for, uh, um, I usually pick up stuff because I want, there's multiple things I want in it, so. Okay, this is kind of funny. So this, <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to see this. So where the shocks go, let's pull this back. They have it, they don't, you don't have a pin in here. So th these things just float all over the place. So it's kind of, you're kind of looking at it going, eh, maybe I forgot a piece or whatever. I'm looking at, I didn't. It's actually the next step locks everything in. So some of that kind of gets me a little bit confused at times, but, uh, but I think we're good here. Perhaps we'll find out here in a couple seconds, that's for sure. Yeah, I didn't see what happened there. It, uh, I saw Jujar Kara get, uh, oh, he got hit. Oh, he's hurt. Oh, Jujar Kara's knocked unconscious again. That's not good. Yeah, he's out cold. Oof, not good. Not the first time that's happened this year to the poor guy. Coming to his defense. His night is over. All right, now these go up to go into there. Perfect. Okay, that makes lots of sense. I don't know if we'll see that on there or not. Probably not. So it's locking into this tan piece here and across here and then going into this guy and across to the back piece. So it's gonna lock in like four different points. That's wicked. You've been turning Barracuda Bay into, uh, turning Barracuda Bay into a water park for my amusement. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, check this out. That's pretty cool. Um, so let's see if we can see, look at the cantilever suspension. So. You can see the shocks are actually working. The shocks are working here, and then they call this a cantilever suspension so that, like, if you go one way, it'll actually, see how that opens up this piece? Like, that is pretty cool. Wow. I mean, it's, it's stiff suspension, like if it was, if it was smoother, like, or a little loose, then it would be like just like a rock crawler, but that, that is actually pretty neat. They put a lot of thought into that. And it locks in solid on the bottom here, as you can see. 
that's where that orange piece came through this back side and then locks in with just one of the red pins through the front so neat thanks Cosmo yeah it's uh, it's coming I got I'm trying to do more modular stuff in the things back behind me but um, soon I'll get it on and I got I want to move, move the amusement park into that room and there's a whole bunch of stuff I need to do I just need to well get after it I need to find some extra time always the problem Yeah, so far, so far, it's like I said, it's pretty, uh, pretty cool set. Um, and they, they think of a lot of things when they're building these, which is cool. Like in, in the mechanical side of me, the yeah, this game is fiery. Um, did this one in the Defender scale? Yeah, that's what they're talking about. Like, and uh, you know what? Maybe, I don't know. Lego should do that. Lego should release stuff or or put stuff out like this to say, you know, what, what do the masses say? Because this set was hard to get for a while too. Um, and, and it's like... I, I honestly think if they did do a bigger scale of this, Defender scale, like that's one that would be, they wouldn't keep it on the shelf sort of thing. Yeah, Brad, it is really well done. It's Like I said, it's it's a thoughtful set, right? It's something that like mechanically is, the mechanic in me is looking at this going, well, that's pretty impressive. We need a video tour soon of the, everything? Yeah, you know what, once I get tell you what once I get my black series under control because right now it's just a mess but once I get my black series under control we will look into a room tour once I get all of that uh, in good shape get four of these guys so where did those guys come in Oh, look at that. So we need two of these guys. Two of these guys. <laughs> yeah, I agree, Matthew. My Black Series will never be under control, for sure. Doodly do do do. Oh, I screwed that up. Or did I? No, yes. This one goes here. This one goes here. Yeah, see that could that could mess you up if you did it the same. I think I was paying attention there. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, like I said, once we're done this bag, I think we're going to be motoring pretty quick through the, uh, pretty quick through on the other stuff. Let's just take a look to make sure I've got everything where I need it to be. Absolutely. Perfect. And... that way and right into there it looks like nailed it <laughs> well thanks for stopping by Sarah I really appreciate it bedtime 
I can appreciate that. And we'll see you later. Oh, damn. Throwing stuff around. What's my favorite Lego line that I don't have? Um, probably, well, it's, I had it, but I got rid of it, of course, was the um, Pirates of the Caribbean stuff. I, I had all the ships and all that stuff. I miss all those ships. I had all the all of the pirate ships. And I got rid of that stuff thinking, oh, no, I'll be okay. And, yeah, no, there's a few of those that I would, I would definitely like to have back because they're just cool to look at. That would be probably my... stuff on my want to listen you know what I'll start picking that off here and there I'll get Tony to find me stuff and um, and uh, we'll get after it eventually I'm in no panic oh it looks like we're building the winch right now so I need the wheel I have to open up this guy I threw and tie them off. It's what I normally do. Oh, Edmonton to scored Snow Lena. Yeah. Beautiful goal. I think it was McDavid. Go figure. What reminds you of Fort Mac? The pirate ships? Get rid of some extra there. Bingo. Uh oh. That's going to not count. Son of a. Oilers. It's a sniper shot, too. All right. So there's that. Down on our winch. Coach's challenge. Yeah, this goal is coming back. All good. They'll just have to score four more. Now I got to pay attention to this because I can see myself screwing this up bad. So that's going that way. It's going that way. Oh, I got to put these in. Mac, you go, Habs, go. No goal. Goaltender interference. Can't touch them goalies. True story. And I I played goal, so... That one was a little bit bad, but whatever. They'll get it back. All right. So through that piece, I'm just building up the winch here. That goes on. Now we need the hook. I always waste so much because my when I'm tying these knots out, because I use a a little bit. Well, I use a fair amount, but it doesn't. Um, You don't use a lot anyway. I don't. It's not like I pull this out. It's more of the show aspect of it. So tying wee little knots. Come on, work with me here. Kind of excited to get into the body parts of this thing. Get the outside all built up. 
I think we're getting pretty darn close on the I'm just going to cut off the excess again here that should be I'm terrible with this yeah it's um like I said I always leave a little I cut away a fair amount but you don't need a ton on there right like it's not like you're um it's not like you're uh gonna be actually using the thing and you need to have that extra length there we go that's on there that's on there it's just the whole kind of winch carrier sort of system so it's kind of neat um, this all on the right way Oof, that was a close one. Did you see the Shanghai Shanghai trailer? Nope, I have not. Not yet, Tanjim. There we go. All right. So that part's all built up. Gotta get this silly thing going the right way. All right. This is the part I don't want to screw up because this will be the. I miss out on everything. I <laughs> I miss. I forget to watch stuff. I won't lie. People tell me to watch stuff all the time. I just yeah. I forget. I'll catch it later and then I'll ask everybody, hey, did you see this? Uh, yeah, man, a while ago. Oops. I'll watch it when we're done this. <laughs> Kim's Convenience is a pretty funny show, but... And... This guy here... All right, three. So yeah, this is the side of the Jeep going on. So this would be, everything's gonna connect to this bad boy, obviously. But where does it go? Rests on there and into one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, four, six, that one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. That's just in by one. Oh, because it's under the steering column too, so you can see that. It's under the steering column, so it gives it some strength there. Excellent. So what time did I say? It looks really good. Really different for the Marvel movie. It reminds me of my first impressions of Guardians of the Galaxy in that way. Oh, cool. I'd be very interested in that because I love that movie. Love the way they did everything in that movie, really. A surprise one for me, because I didn't, at first, I didn't think I was going to love it, and yet, yeah, turned out it did. Here, those two and this guy. Under there. Third. Now we're cooking almost through this <laughs> this very first bag of parts. And this thing is going to go the same way. It's going to go underneath that piece and come down the same way. Except for it's going through two up there. Yep. 
There we go. So there's your whole front end piece. So that's obviously the top end of the Jeep and whatever, where everything's going to mount to. I was really excited. I visited the brick bin on Saturday. So you went and saw my buddy Tony. How, uh, how was Tony and did you end up with anything? Of course, that's the burning question. I can't walk out of there without spending money. Tony's like a vacuum. Tony's a vacuum for my wallet. But couldn't give it to a nicer guy, to be honest with you. So, this is going to go like that. Uh oh, there's another penalty. And then push in the blue. Yeah, and then when you start tying this stuff in, uh, it really starts getting strong. So like I said, this is going to be one of the, those those uh, very playable sets because it's going to be tough. Tough as nails. And that guy. I didn't get anything. They were super friendly and it was my first time there. Yeah, Todd, they are, uh, they are really friendly. They're good people. And uh, like I said before, they're, those are the people you want to support because they are, uh, they are genuine. Like they're absolutely genuine. And he does his best. And Tony will be the first to admit to you that he doesn't have all the knowledge in the world, but he, he's a quick learner. Like even stuff that, uh, even stuff, Jeep go beep. Even the stuff, um, you know, every time I'm in there, he surprises me because he's he's picking up on it pretty fast and stuff. And like, that's awesome. I, I appreciate his enthusiasm, and that's that's kind of all you need. Like once you get going at it, and then, um, he he gets out there and he digs for you, right? Like he uh, he'll find you stuff. He always every time I have asked him to seek something out to me or for me he's definitely found it and uh definitely taken care of me on it so appreciate guys like him okay so this guy is going to go into there into there you out of here brick and brood we'll talk to you later my friend thanks for coming by Spoil it for where's he going? Oh, gotta go zoom. Yeah, zoom time. That's our new world. It's what we get to do now in lockdown. Oh well. Do these have no they don't. So they must have a no they don't. Oh look at that. So they do have printed pieces in here. <laughs> so I had to check back to make sure uh I didn't use these printed pieces in another spot. Cause that would suck. These guys are all printed here too, so that's cool. So I hope I didn't use those anywhere either. I'm not paying attention, you could see how you could fly through those guys really quick and then you'd be looking for them later. So one. This is actually, uh, this part's fairly involved. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, oh, that's why. Orange. 
Did you? <laughs> you had to check it out to make sure you didn't lose stuff. Yeah, it's wouldn't be the first time I've done it. I'm sure it's not going to be the last, right? There we go. Looking good so far. I am paying very close attention to this because I do not want to screw it up. Ooh, that's a rough ride. We got a power play now here? Is that what's going on? I might color swap your Jeep. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, hey? Yeah, Tommy, uh, if it's a box that, um, if it's a box that I really, I'm worried about keeping, I'll actually, I'll use my knife and I'll, I'll cut it out very carefully. Um, but this one, like I said, I'm, I'm probably never going to get rid of this set. So, and even if I do, I don't know if the box is going to be the, uh, the be all end all to it. The only ones I really kind of even remotely worry about the boxes on are, um, my bigger sets, the, all the bigger buildings and like the, the big Technic cars and stuff like that. Definitely don't want to mess that stuff up or lose that stuff. Put the deck alone. There we go. Nailed it. And this piece here. Yeah, we're getting thin on pieces, so we're doing good. Works for me, but now I wish I knew I could have saved nice boxes. Yeah, yeah, it's um, let's go this way, this way, this way. That was a little bit confusing right there. Got it though. So, just the motor cover. And then we need another one of the pieces that are marked on the front. Yeah, for the Star Wars stuff especially. I keep the Star Wars stuff. Um, always. Unless it's like one of the sets I'm using for like when I bought the stuff for my, uh, <clears throat> when I bought the stuff for my, like the mocks or whatever I'm doing up there, um, I didn't keep any of those boxes. I ended up uh, just the little stuff, like for the Moss Eyes the Cantina, where I, I bought the extra stuff for putting around the Cantina. I didn't bother with it because, like I said, it's just kind of little, little bit sets, and I'm not too stressed about ever recouping money out of those bad boys. There should be a double. Nope, this guy. All right. There's actually a fair amount going on for even this piece. That's interesting. Let's see that in there. Goes through there. Well, thank you, Tanjam. Dollar forty nine and a hot dog. And I want a hot dog. <laughs> Matthew checks all the boxes and regrets it later. Thank you very much, Tanjam. I muchly appreciate that, as always, my friend. See, like right there. Why did I screw that? Oh. No wait, I didn't. Ha! Thought I screwed up. Didn't. Ah, I see. So they're just going to stack these things on and then jump them back and forth. My favorite module that I have so far, Tommy? That's what I said already. It was the um, um, fishing store. I love that one. If you want, I, I don't know, I guess I could consider that a, 
<laughs> yeah, it's a Costco hot dog for you. It's what I had yesterday. Uh, my son-in-law and I, we we went to Costco yesterday. I bought those big bags of chips that I love, those those kettle corn chippy things. And, uh, yeah, man, I, I can't get out of Costco without buying a hot dog and drink for $1.50. Oh, grilled some brats. Mmm, now I'm getting hungry. Actually, you know what we had for supper tonight? Uh, is, it's the first time we had it, was the, um, Costco, uh, tacos. It's like $15, and it was a whole kit. And the kit has, like, everything you need to make your tacos. So it's got seasoned chicken in it, so all you literally have to do is warm up the chicken, and, uh, it gives you a whole bunch of shells and stuff like that. And you just, it had cheese and it had, uh, it was like a, a lime, a lime, I can't remember what my wife called it. It was like a lime cilantro something or other. I don't know. It was delicious. Um, <laughs> fishing store. Another one of my white whales I grabbed this year in Lethbridge and saw they had a bunch of the child Lego sets. Yeah, they, uh, they had lots of them in our Costco too. Um, but yeah, they had this, this taco thing and I'm like, oh, well we can try that, I guess. And uh, man, yeah, I'm so glad we did. That was delicious. Cook the chicken up really fast. And then all of a sudden you're just, uh, this way. Is that going the right way? Yes. It sure is. Oh, it's a headlight. That's cool. Um, of course, I put it on the wrong way when I did this. All right. So there is the front grill. So that's pretty neat. I got those. Got those. Excellent. Front grill and then engine cover. So yeah, like I said. Oh, and then you got the headlight assemblies coming up here. So two of these guys. These all look good. Rounded headlights. Exactly what we need on the old Rubicon. Have I tried Blaze Pizza? Yes, absolutely. I love Blaze Pizza. It's a good place to eat. Blaze Pizza is one of those places that I like thick crust pizza. And uh, um, When I went in there the first time, I was all disappointed because I'm like, no, I, so I paid the dollar for their thick crust, which is still a thin crust in my eyes. But I guarantee, like I walked out of there, I was full and delighted because it was delicious. So that's cool. Here's the headlights. Here's the grill and the headlights now. So that looks awesome. Light those up easy enough too, I guess, hey? We can, we can. All right, almost through this bag. And I hope I can find... Oh, good, I only need one. Whew! That stressed me out a little bit. So I got that and that. Oh, i got to put it on this piece. Those there. And there. Excellent, then it's going to just clip in clip in I'm sure yep except for this has got to go the other way that one goes there so it goes through, black, yellow, well that's kind of neat, except for I've screwed something up.
Okay, I'll take a good look here at what I messed up. So that goes to the outside, that goes there, that goes up. Should be perfect. Hmm, hmm, I say. Oh, I know what I did. Because I did it to the inside. That is why. Whew! What is the next bag? Bag two. Bag two is the next bag. And it should be the body and stuff. So like I said, that that will go pretty darn quick, I think. There we go. Again, problem solved. guys here <laughs> no, also I realized I was calling Kirsten Kristen nope she uh, she will definitely answer to any of that buddy because um, she's used to that everybody she always she always gets called uh, not her name I don't know why one of those things I won't tell her she's not watching anyway so you're safe she'd, pr she'd probably only want to watch me if she wanted to fall asleep Lego is not her thing okay got that going the right way that's excellent so is that for the that must be for the oh yeah, I bet you that's a fold down windshield that's pretty neat That guy here. Yeah, Matthew Matthew called her Kristen. He lived through it. Of course, he didn't cost her $300 and cell phone. <laughs> Just kidding. It was funny. Uh, funny, funny. All right. You guys are going to go in there. All right, easy. Thanks for coming by, buddy. See you in a bit. Talk to you soon for sure. For sure, for sure. There. All right, now we're cooking. Look, we're almost done this whole bag. Bag one, almost complete. Building with the speed of Brad, not even close. Perfect. So that will be for the Jeep, for the windshield to roll up and down. So, and that's still up. We're good. Squeeze here. Excellent. Starting to look like a Jeep, eh? Starting to look like something, at least. Like I said, these guys really start coming together quick. Like, once you start getting to the point where... There should be something in there. Yep, that one. Just a piece I missed, but I caught it. Yeah, we're pretty pretty close, I think. Bag two. Sounds simple enough. Not too many leftover parts. A few here and there, but I think we should be good. Alright, let's crack open bag two. Get this thing knocked out. Oh, lots of small bags. These pins though, they go quick. Look like much when it's sitting in four bags over here, but to roll it out on the table here, it uh, gets to be a bit. Have a drink. Uh, 
All right. So we need three of these guys. Excellent. So those three. Yeah, this so this this puts all the framework and all that stuff together. Like I said, it'll be uh, <laughs> he says you just came in the room and gave you a poutine. You're a lucky guy. A Costco poutine, by chance? She could have got you a hot dog too. That was my dilemma yesterday, because now in Costco, you can't sit down, of course, or anything. So you get your hot dog, you actually pay at a little, like, pay kiosk. And you you walk out of there, and they give you just, like, a little ketchup, a pa or pack a, packet of ketchup and packet of relish, whatever you want, sort of thing. And um, you walk out of there, you squirt your ketchup on there. But I wanted poutine, too, but I figured, ah, eh, that was going to be just... I'm a disaster. When I eat stuff like that, I'm a mess usually. I'm usually wearing half of it. And, but like I told the, one of the ladies last year, if you're not wearing it, um, then uh, 300 second time out for that. What'd he do? Um, if you're not wearing it, then uh, you ain't trying hard enough. I just gotta do this. You ain't trying hard enough. So I need two, four, five. Smaller. That one. Okay. I'm going to pay attention. We are going to pay attention. See you, Cosmo. Have a great night. At least I didn't call her. Oh, yeah. She probably would have answered you, buddy, if you're talking about Kirsten. If not, I don't know what you're talking about. Great having you here, Cosmo. We'll talk soon. We will talk soon. All right, yeah, so this is going to be like the front bumper piece, I'm assuming. Uh, two of these guys. Lots of yellow in front of me right now. It's everywhere. Two of those. There she be. So this guy. Yeah, it's going to be one of those things too. I don't want to screw this up because, again, you're going backwards fast. Like that. Nice. What else should we talk about? We talked about Costco food, so now I'm hungry again. Actually, I'm good. I had those, those tacos were really good. Oof. I was supposed to, like I said, I was supposed to go to BC next week, but that's not going to happen, I don't think. So that'll give me time to knock some stuff out down here, I guess, which is good. Because I had a lot of plans and I had a lot of stuff I wanted to get done and I got, I got another buddy that wants me to work on his other motorbike and noise. 
and uh, yeah, so lots of stuff to do. Just a matter of getting after it and getting it done. Oh yeah, this thing's gonna come together fast. Oh, unless I screw it up like that. And on the back side, that's the back of the Jeep, cool. <clears throat> one of those, one of those. Anything else I'm, uh, <laughs> anything else I'm planning on lighting up? Well, Matthew already knows that I'll be lighting up that ISS. Um, yeah, I have some uh, some plans for um, the Millennium Falcon table. I have that Darth Vader mock I want to do. Um, yeah, there's a few things. I got a whole bunch of my city buildings I want to do, but I just got to kind of... I almost got to get in the mood and the rhythm and, and uh, just start knocking all that out at once. Just focus on lighting stuff because uh, it's a little bit. Once I get everything all set out and start playing around with that, then it's, it's easier to do it all at that, that one time sort of thing. Get it done. Get it all done. I guess you'll never ever really be done and stuff, but but we have a whole bunch of other stuff going on. Like we got Matthews moving, so we got to do that. Commander Cody Productions, hello there. How are you doing? Hey Richard, how you doing, buddy? The build is coming along great. Thank you for asking. You came at a good time. We're actually starting to pick up the pace a little bit. <laughs> We're on the last bag of stuff. Well, there's only two bags, but there's multiple bags in those two bags. But um, we're getting there. We're working it out. Working it out. Lots of little pieces to deal with here. Uh, one of these guys. Oops. I missed a part. One there, two there. So what's going on, Richard? How are you doing? What's new? What's exciting? Sticker time. Eight and three. Ah, it's a door. It's the door, man. Hey, Kristen, how you doing? Yep, the day was good. It was, uh, the work day went fast and plugging away at this thing, so all is happy right now. So there's our door. You can see the old door panel, so it's removable. Oh. International Space Station or Imperial Star Destroyer? Imperial Star Destroyer would be the one I would be lighting up. I still have to build the International Space Station. I gotta get after that. There we go. Door on. Come on, baby. Grab it. Doesn't want to grab it. I'll grab it here. What did Richard say? Tan Jam. Okay, the Marvel CMF lineup was just leaked. Two figures from FWS from WandaVision, two from Loki, five from. And you cut off. Frog Thor allegedly going to be accessories with one of the Lokis. Oh, cool. When are they supposed to release? Did they say Tan Jam? 
uh, well just got the shuttle and the carnage builds I'm going to see which I'll start with now hmm are you talking about the uh, Imperial shuttle Richard like the the new one the hundred dollar one or whatever start with that that is cool I really like that set No pictures yet. Hmm. Be very interested to see them. So that was weird. Normally, when they give you, uh, when they say there's three of these to put in, they'll they'll highlight the three. On this page, they didn't. Which set do I like more, the Imperial Shuttle or the Star Destroyer? Uh, hmm. <laughs> I I honestly I don't even know if I can answer that. Um, you know, for me, the Imperial Shuttle was. It took me a long. <laughs> It took me a long time to find that, and I actually paid more, a fair amount more than the two that I found for my buds there, for one for Tanner and one for Matthew. Uh, I paid a lot more for mine than, than they got theirs for, than I found theirs for. I, th I would probably lean towards the shuttle, um, just because it was something that I had sought, sought after for a very long time, and the time was never right. Could never find it. Could never, you know, find a good price on it. So, yeah, I would definitely lead towards the shuttle. But I do have them in the exact same area. So <laughs> when I look up there, I'm staring at both of them. And because uh, they're beautiful. They're both just beautiful pieces to look at. Um, Kristen, got that Imperial shuttle in the backlog after winning Wing on the Weekend. Oh, Awesome. Well, you won an A-Wing on the weekend. Oh, very nice. Another set I haven't built yet. I got to get on that. Uh, Adam O, what's your favorite hockey team? I like the Calgary. Adam O, I don't know. Where are you? Hey. Oh, the new space shuttle, Richard. Build that. Definitely build that. That is a, the, yeah, it's, it's beyond really cool. It's awesome. Every piece about that thing I loved. And as Snow Lane would say, spaceship. Always go with the spaceship. Uh, where's our other piece here? Right there. Yeah, hard to find one at a good price. I keep looking right now. There's only one in Calgary for 1200 So, James... Um, the all well sorry no not all three two of the three that I found so mine and Matthews came out of Calgary and Tanjams came out of Yukon I believe um, I paid for mine like 1200 is too high don't pay that hang tight um it's it's worth twelve hundred. I'm not I'm not going to disagree with that. I'm not, for anybody that has one that's selling them for twelve hundred, I wouldn't sell mine for under twelve hundred. Um, but you will find the one in Calgary that I found, and it all depends to minifigures and all that sort of stuff. I wasn't I didn't care about the minifigures for mine. I got all the minifigures for mine. Matthew wasn't really overly concerned about that, and Tanjam ended up uh, finding his. He got his through Bricklink, I believe. So neither of those two sets come with minifigures, but they were a heck of a lot cheaper. Like I paid probably three hundred dollars more, or four hundred actually, four hundred dollars more. No, three hundred. I can't remember what I paid for mine. Seven or eight hundred bucks, I think I paid for mine somewhere in that area. And um, you'll find one. It'll come available. What I found, and for some reason, they, they come, they're cheaper in Calgary. I don't know why. I honestly can't tell you. But, um, 
Yeah, yours was Yellowknife 400 Canadian. Damn, Montreal just scored. Um, yours was 400 Canadian, and I think, I'm pretty sure Matthew's still here, I think I paid 400 for his as well. Um, and I was, I'm pretty sure I was 800 for mine, which, you know, realistically, I'd pay 800 for mine again. Mine was fully complete. Tanjam needed to get the stand and the minifigs, I believe, for his. Which, the grand scheme of things, it's Technic pieces and some minifigs, so it's not all that bad. But, like I said, patience. You will find another one for sure. Yeah, Matthews was 450. Yeah, so right in that ballpark, which is good. That's great pricing. And, to boot... I'm pretty sure Tanjam, you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure yours was very clean. No uh, yellowing whatsoever. Matthew's was spotless. Um, very clean. He took his apart too because he's going to rebuild it. And mine has some yellowing. <laughs> All good. Just a little bit. There's a few pieces that are yellowed up. Yeah, Tanjam, yours was nuts. That was a good deal. Picked all that stuff up for 70 bucks. So 470 all in for a shuttle. Yeah, Matthews was pristine. Like Matthews was like it was glistening white. It was so I Yeah. <laughs> I think what I said when I got home with his, I'm like, yeah, I don't know, maybe, maybe I should keep yours. I'd never do that to him, but no. This guy, just going into here. Oh, into here. Voila. One into there. Perfect. Back seat of the Jeep. Hey, J Man Lego Productions, how you doing? How are you doing? What's new? What's happening? Richard, you will not be disappointed if you start with that shuttle. Trust me. You have a Kevin guarantee on that one. I don't know what I'll guarantee you, but that set is off the charts. Off the charts. Well, that scared me a little bit. I went to move the steering wheel there and, <laughs> and it wouldn't move. Uh oh, this could be potentially a problem. You don't turn the steering wheel in this set. You turn the wheel at the back of the unit. You subscribed, Adam? I appreciate that very, very much. It means the world to me, my friend. Thank you for that. Dips Bricks, hello. Masters Australia season three, first episode did not disappoint. Did that start tonight? Ooh. I'm gonna have to, uh, I'm gonna have to talk to my buddy. I get him to, to download it and put it on Plex for me so, so I can watch it all. But that, yeah, did that uh, did that start tonight, Dips? Let us know. Pretty excited if it did. My wife's very excited because she'll have to watch it all. <laughs> she actually doesn't mind watching that. Starting my Discovery Shuttle when the big event starts. Yeah? It's uh, it's a great shuttle, man. It's fantastic. It was last night for the Aussies, so tonight. Cool. I 
Yeah, I'm definitely all over that. The Aussies have some amazing builders. Everybody does, really. I mean, it's funny to see people's creation and some of that stuff. You know, even when I watched the last one, the, the American one there, and you're watching some of the people build, and you're like, man, I can, I can do that. And then they come out with some stuff, and they come out with some wicked builds, and you're like, okay, these, these people have some mad skills. It's fun to see people get creative with that stuff. Phone's going off here. All right. Again, we're getting close. Holy smokes. We got stuff coming in like crazy. Coke Zero or Diet Coke? Uh, neither. That's a Diet Dr. Pepper. Adam O, you've never watched Lego Masters before? I recommend it, my friend. It's, um... Yeah, the host is hilarious. On uh, uh, is it the same host? Dips like is it is it the same uh, same guy that they had last year? He is uh, he is pretty funny. Sorry, I don't want to do this here, but I'm gonna check out. My phone's just buzzing like crazy, so I gotta see what the heck's going on. Uh, okay. Oops. A little bit out of season, but I just built the 2010 Winter Village Bakery. That ah, it's good to build at any time. Uh, Adam O, you would have to. Uh, it is the same amount. Yeah, that guy's funny. He is hilarious. Um, the I get. I have one of my guys at work. He, I think he gets it off uh, Torrent Days or something. Or I, I don't even know. I ask him to get it for me, and then I share a Plex server. I have a Plex server with him, and I. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah. Um, I watch it. Uh, I watch it on Plex. Is it on? Tanjam would probably know. Is it on Netflix or how can you? Uh, how can you uh, get it, Tanjam? We get it June first on Fox. Yeah, we'll be a bit behind, but. You can get it now. I know there's ways you can get it now because, like I said, I've uh, I usually watch it current. There's my thingy. It is a great show. All of them are good. I, I've not, I've yet to be disappointed with any of the seasons. You can be disappointed with a certain episodes every now and then. What is one of your current white whales? Used to be on Hulu. Not sure if it still is. Well, I'm a little out of seat. Oh, 2010 Winter Village. You don't have that, Tenjam? Huh. Finally, something the guy doesn't own. Write it down. It's Tenjam's Christmas present next year from me. When I give it to him, he'll be like, oh, I found four. go the second season for America starts on June 1st yeah just bricks the brick man yes the brick man is a pretty pretty uh, crazy builder what episode was it where they built they built that big motorbike like the Harley and then he pushed it over because they had to build everything out of the I think that was last year's or last season right It devastated me. That broke my heart. I wanted that bike. I wanted that bike. Okay. Now, looks like we got a big sticker to do here. That's a huge sticker. Awesome. The whole dash piece is a mat one long sticker. So that's awesome. Passed on one last year for 219, still kicking herself. Yeah, no kidding. There you go, Tanjam. One's up for sale right now. Oh, 
that went lucky. There you go. Focus in, you bugger. There you go. Um, correct. Season 2, it was hilarious, but disappointing for the bike. Yes, it was disappointing for that bike. I did not like that one. It was a, it was a great episode. They really had to work for what they did in that episode, but... Uh, you know the worst part is I I I actually saw it happening before it happened. <laughs> so I'm like my wife and I were watching it and I said um I said, "Yeah." I said, "They're going to push that bike over and it's going to be full of Lego stuff. It's going to be like a piñata bike." Look on Netflix after the stream or tomorrow. So yeah, you're going to want to watch it, but it's 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 really good. All of them are really good. One of my favorite episodes actually and I still want to do this is the um the Cloud City episode that they did where they actually hung, um, they had like one they'd fishing line down to one Technic piece and it was like a, a long piece like this and they had to do their whole build and build this big Cloud City off of uh, um, just this one hanging piece and it had to be weighted properly and so it didn't like uh, go out of control one way or what have you. But that was a pretty cool episode. So we got this guy. This guy. What am I doing here? Oh, I screwed that up. This guy goes here. This guy goes here. There we go. Just want me to boo boo there. You gotta go, Adam. Good night, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Appreciate it. There we go. Oh, it's locked side in. I thought that was the windshield flip part, but looks like I'm wrong. All right, we're going to cook through the rest of this here. Focus. hammering pieces now. So that's stuff two and one. And oh, these are kind of funky pieces. How many of those have got? Three. <laughs> You're downloading yeah, you're downloading now. Good. It's enjoyable. I love that show. For me, too, it's kind of one of those shows I can watch over and over again. Oh, how fun would it be to have, like, unlimited bricks at your disposal, right? Like, that would be very cool. Very cool. A couple more stickers here. Bag three done. Yeah, that Chinese New Year sets are pretty cool. Very cool. I got the wrong one. How many bags are in that set? I can't even remember now. You probably answer this all the time. But um, first time on chat, when did you get into building as an adult? Um, when did I get into building? 
get into building as an adult? I started, well, okay. So I started collecting Lego young. Um, I've always kind of been a hoarder with my toys and stuff like that. I never really sold too much off. And um, so I have still a lot of that stuff left over. But I got back into collecting Lego as an adult, or just actually building Lego as an adult, probably to 10 years ago, at least. Um, and then, yeah, it had to be 10 years ago, somewhere in that area. And uh, collected for a while and, and built and got crazy with it. and. Um, and then I kind of lost, I don't know, I lost the desire to, uh, do it and I ended up just because I don't like stuff sitting around collecting dust, I ended up getting rid of most all my stuff. And then, uh, of course, immediately regretted all of that. That's a hood. That's cool. Uh, well, not immediately. I went about, uh, I was 10, yeah, probably, I, I would say 10 years ago, and then went hard, like really hard for a long time, collected absolutely everything in sight. And then I got out of it for like two or three years and uh, got back into it. And I've been back into it now for, I don't know, maybe a year and a bit I guess somewhere in there so again went hard at it but learned from my mistake I won't uh, I won't make that mistake again I'm even starting to get more uh, a lot more focused on um, trying to keep it to stuff that I just I really really want to do um, So it's, uh, it's difficult because a lot of the times I'm a completionist and I want to collect absolutely everything in sight. And uh, you got to kind of lose that <laughs> if you want to really collect the stuff you love, right? Because it, uh, it can get crazy on you fast. All right. Oh, I know why. You can push that in. There we go. So the hood wasn't shutting because I didn't have the. Uh, so now it's shutting good. Shutting right up against it. Excellent. Oops. Boop. All right. I'm trying to find the time and finances to do the same. I've always loved it. Just build the crater three in one pirate ship and had a blast. Yeah, well, so with all of that too, like, I mean, you don't have to, don't. My problem, my honest problem is that I want everything and I want everything yesterday, right? And it's taken me a long time to get to the, get to the point where I'm just like, slow down. It'll come. You'll get it. Like, it's not, uh. You, you don't need it today and if you don't get it today yeah it sucks but you know what sometimes it's for a good reason and you'll get it later at a cheaper price so patience does pay off for sure so that's all I can say is that I'm I've learned a little bit of patience to a degree there's there's some stuff like when it's new releases if it's something I'm really really wanting to get my hands on then yeah, for sure. I'm going to do my best to get my hands on it. But I've also learned that if I don't get it, I'm not, uh, I'll get it next week, right? Or I'll get it the week after or whatever. And yeah, collect what you love. Don't, don't go down the wormhole of just because it's there. Like just because it's there, you, you feel that you need to have it. That's not a good thing either because then you start ending up with the regrets on sets you bought and that can consume you.
I've got, even now I've got some stuff I'd probably, I don't know, liquidate, but I hate using that term because I know how I am. And uh, just because I have it when I get rid of it, then I'm going to want it back. All right, so yeah, we are getting close here. She is almost done. Just building up some bumper pieces and some, this is the back end again. This I'm sure is gonna go there and there. Yep. Excellent. The limited run stuff has always bugged me. I miss the opportunity. The DeLorean's back, yep. Um, for sure. And yeah, the, the DeLorean, because that's going to be a big one, right? So that is, uh, that's exactly what I'm saying. So yeah, the, the limited run stuff, I mean, the limit, but even with the limited run stuff, I mean, it's around long enough that if you want it, you're going to get it sort of thing. My problem is, uh, um, I forget about it, you know, like I, like this, this one that Moon Man was, um, we were talking the other day and he's, he's like, Kev, you got to get the set. You got to get the set. Like it's going to retire. It's gonna, and I'm like, everything he said was a hundred percent true because it, I know me and I keep saying, oh, I'll grab it. I'll grab it. I'll grab it. And then I don't. And then all of a sudden I can't find it anymore. And then I almost get into this like little panic attack mode where I'm like, I got to have it. I need it. And we're going to do everything to get our hands on it. So I don't want to catch myself in that, so I just got to make sure that, uh, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Um, I just want to make sure that I get my pause on it before I have to pay secondary market stuff. That's kind of what I promised myself. Just focus on getting what you want and getting what you need. And cause yeah, you can, uh, you can definitely go down too many wormholes and <laughs> Kristen, I'm, I love the year allegedly or alleged oh I'm not I'm gonna even gonna speak allegedly excited um so yeah it's uh like I said collect what you want get after that stuff and that DeLorean when it came out it wasn't that expensive I don't think like the set now it's silly to buy like I and again I had one I sold it but um, you know you wait it's kind of like the R2-D2 stuff like the you know if you didn't get the first wave one it's $500 now to buy now the new one's coming out um, it's going to be just as good if not better and uh, yeah so you know you get you get your second chance at it which is good Edmonton's on a power play right now Zing. That's funny. Yeah, it's still like what Tan, I get what Tan Jump's saying. It's still a leak. It's a. Uh, but I don't think they've been too far off lately. Uh, like all the leak guys. I don't, like I said, I don't really follow too much of them. All my friends usually tell me what's going on. Like Matthew will tell me stuff, Tan Jam will tell me stuff, and then, then I get excited about it. All right, we are getting close. Feel it. Putting some tires together soon. You know you're at the end when you're doing tires. Yeah, the new R2. I'm excited only because I got rid of it and I'm never gonna do that again. Big mistake, big mistake. Where do these go? Oh, right there. Yeah, she's coming together now. Speaking of Back to the Future, I saw some collectible figures from that the other day. Man, they look great. Collectible figures. Oh, no. 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 Tan Jam. Bad. Somebody needs to squirt lemon juice in that boy's mouth. 
We're not, we're not collecting Back to the Future. Bad Dan Jam. I was able to get Playmobil set before it was out of print. But it's just not the same. Yeah, no, it's not the same. Is it out of print? Because I, I thought I still see it at um, Mastermind every now and then. Like all that Playmobil stuff, it's funny because you look at it and there's like, they have the VW van and they have the, the, uh, the bug and then they have, the yeah they have the, the Scooby Doo stuff. They have yeah they have all that here. So it's like once Lego's done with the, uh, the copyright stuff on it, Playmobil takes it over and away they go. Let it fly. All right, this guy's gonna go here, here. Oh, roll bar, cool beans. Yep, that was just my reaction. I put it down fast. <laughs> see, see the Playmobil one at Walmart. <laughs> yeah, so I yeah I, I still see them around. Like I said, I saw them at. Um, I'm pretty sure I saw them at Mastermind still. And they look okay. The, what gets me though is the uh, can't find one in Calgary. Yeah, they have them here, I'm sure. See if they'll do a store transfer because I'm, I'm almost positive like when I was there the other day I saw them at the at the uh, South Side or the South Common Mastermind. Oops, this guy. Okay. Yeah, I think the R2 release day is going to be a fun day. We're going to have a blast. Oh, I need that thing. We're going to have a blast. It's already been determined Matthew's going to buy me breakfast. I don't know if he knows that yet, but he does now. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, and then, yeah, I think we're going to hang out at the West Ed store and see what we get. And, like, again, if I get the R2, I get it. If I don't, I don't. But I'm pretty sure we will. I think they're going to be fairly stocked up for this one they have uh, gotten a lot better in the past little while with this but what was last year's last year's was the cantina right Moss Eisley I believe yeah it was At least it's Saturday. I don't have to sneak off for two hours. What's Saturday? May 4th? Or May 5th? Or the 1st? The 1st is Saturday, yeah. So you're going to, yeah, because you're going to get the promotions on that day. Yeah, that's right. That's what we should do, Matthew. <laughs> Just go on the first. As long as they have the promotions, that would be a wing for sure. No, I think we'll get them, bud. Max going to get a wing. Yeah, May, so May 1st, yeah. So, Matthew, maybe we should look at doing that. Maybe we'll do that. We'll go on the first. Because if we get our promotions on the first, there's no point on waiting till the... the uh, waiting on the fourth. And then on the fourth, we can just go get breakfast at McDonald's and eat it in a parking lot because we can't eat anywhere. OK. 
Okay, so this guy goes in here. Roof activated. Angel Bray, thanks for the entertainment. Appreciate your channel and how honest and down to earth you are. Videos great. Well, thank you very much, James. I appreciate you being here. I honestly do. And uh, thank you for your kind words. It means the world to me. It really does. Last year's set was the A-Wing? Oh, yeah, okay, it was the A-Wing. That's right. I still haven't built mine. <laughs> uh, and thanks again, James. I really appreciate being here. Seth, I've got a lot of Lego masterminds, or masters to watch now. Season 1 and 2 of Australia downloaded. They're both great seasons. You're going to love them. Um, yeah, let us know what you think of it. But like I said, I... I can't see you being disappointed in either, my friend. They're, they, they're great seasons, both. And uh, the announcers are funny. It's witty. It's They do some cool builds. There we go. So you are going to love them. Uh, uh, Tommy Rich, yeah, I heard 120 to 130. 120 to 130 for what? I did that wrong. Go there. Go there. I'm also curious what your thoughts are in the Lego movies are. Lego movies? Um, I don't like all of them. The first one I really like. Um... And that was, I don't know, that's probably about it for me. I mean, I really didn't uh, follow them in too deep after that. Um, I'll watch, I, I've probably watched them now. Um, oh, the DeLorean? Yeah. 120, 130, 200 Canadian. I think it'll be that 200 for the DeLorean. Um, I've watched more of those of the Lego movies now than I have uh, when they came out or anything like that. I like the Batman. I watch. I've been watching them on. Is it? Uh, I don't even know now. I have Disney. I have Netflix. I have. I don't even call it Disney. Disney. I call it the Mandalorian Channel because my kids are older now, so we don't even really need it. But I uh, definitely have it for the Mandalorian. So I've watched a couple of those sets now, and, uh, or sorry, not sets, shows. I can watch the Batman movie. Can't even remember anymore. It's the thing with COVID, I've been watching so much stuff, I, I've, I'm literally forgetting what I have been watching. It's a bad problem. Ninjago movie, I haven't even watched them yet. I'm going to get in trouble for that. But I haven't watched it, and I will. I promise. Because I have heard it is really good. Doodly doo. Batmobile and the B-Wing and the Ecto-1 were all 269. I expect the DeLorean will be the same. I don't know if the DeLorean will be the same. Hard to say. But you might you might not be wrong. I don't know. I hope not. I'm always wanting it cheaper. Always wanting it cheaper. Really like the first movie and the, yeah, the Lego Batman. And them too. I haven't seen the jog. That's kind of, I'm kind of in the same boat. What do I think of the Jeep so far? I love it. It's cool. Um, okay. <laughs> if I could get focused here, we'd almost be done it. Um, we're close. We're very close. Not very many parts left. But yeah, I do like it. It is a very neat set. That one goes... That way. Oh, this is going to be the front fender, I bet. Yeah. Oh, I should have that up here where you guys can see it. Uh, front fender. 
if you can see it there. No, you can't see it. You can probably see it better. Yeah, uh, it doesn't work there. I'll leave it there where I can see it. Those are done, those are done, those are done. Flip front fender. It's right here. Oops, I'm gonna put this guy in. Yeah, the winch have a gearbox? Yeah, for sure. They could have done it. You know, they they definitely have real estate for it, so. No motor in there or anything. You could actually probably build that up pretty, pretty easy too, I think. I'm up to 66 as of today. Whew. That man has a problem. I'm glad I don't have that many. <laughs> Tommy Rich is going to town on him too, I think, isn't he? Does Tommy Rich have a problem? We need to start a help group for all this stuff. Down to like less than 50 pieces. There we go. Got the front supports for the roof. Now the roof is solid. Excellent. Yeah, a bunch of little stuff. Oh. It off. Put that back. Two of these guys. These are the mirrors. No, it's only a problem if you open all the boxes. I am a genuine box collector. We opened a box. Tanjam and I have both opened a box of Black Series. What Lego car do I think is better? Um, hmm. Are we talking just like creator? Are we talking any car whatsoever? Where are we at? Well, that's super odd. I already did that. That's why. Um, because I, I would probably in the car world I would say I like the Lambo it's probably my favorite one to look at that was my favorite build But if I was thinking for like how cool the set is, I would actually probably say the Austin Martin is a really neat set. Um, yeah, the Lambo is probably one of my favorites. It's probably, and what, what all that does that, because the Bugatti is the same thing. It's a really nice car, but it's probably just the color, honestly, for me. Creator. Well, a little biased now when I like the Harley. Just because what it is. I really like the Mustang. There was one of those damage boxes. I was almost going to buy another one just so I could have two of them on the shelf built in the two different styles that you can build with it. Um, but the, I think Probably the Austin Martin would be my top pick in that in that line. All right, that front fender's on. What about the tumbler? Yeah. Well, if we go into the movie, then it's a different class for me. It's the movie series. So the movie series. Um, 
the tumbler's cool, but the 1989 Batmobile has my has my heart for sure because that's it's one of my all time favorite movies. So Jack Nicholson did a fantastic job. Tommy Rich, <laughs> I'm going by GameStop tomorrow. Back through their stock to see if there's some black series on sale on the day I didn't pull the trigger. I may have called the store this morning and had the manager hold a few more. <laughs> uh, they are addictive. They sure are. At least your GameStop, at least your guys' stuff uh, gets stock. We don't get stock. We just keep getting told that, hey, they're coming. And they're not coming. They'll keep telling us they're coming until they're not here. And then they'll say, sorry, we tried our best. No worries. Goes through there. A couple of these guys. Oh, we are so close. So close. Yeah, Tommy, now I want to know what you got on hold so I can be jealous. Tell me it's Jar Jar. You got Jar Jar on hold. And then, need this guy and the yellow one. No. This guy. All right. There's that one and that one. Rear fender on. So now it should be tires. And what else? And we got four. Those guys, we got a roof rack to do, I bet. Yep, we do. Yeah, for sure a roof rack. This guy. Oh. All right. These two. Kevin and Tanjam, due to you both, I've gone to Star Wars Black Series. And yes, very addictive. Yep. Uh, one was Luke and Yoda on Dagobah, and the other was General Grievous. They had 501 clone, clone troopers and stormtrooper. Really? That Luke and Yoda here, Tommy, is a uh, shelf warmer. Like, it's literally... Um, that's the only one we have on our shelves here. Um... It's funny because I think Tanjam and I were talking about it and we're like, yeah, some of the stuff that you guys have down there and some of the stuff we have up here, like it's not even, it doesn't make a lot of sense. And yes, Richard, they're very addictive. What are you at now? What's, <laughs> how many do you own? How many has Tanjam made you buy? Let's ask that question. Oops. Yeah, it is an infectious disease, Matthew. Absolutely. But it's fun. Well worth it. That's odd. Where the heck did it go? We are missing one yellow piece. Not the bags. Not there. Not under my Jeep. Didn't hit the floor. Yeah, step into the water. Matthew owns one, Tanjam. He 
He owns one. Straight up truth. Well, I wonder what I did wrong here. Or did I screw something up? There's only one in there. Well, I might have to go find one of these pieces in my bag of goodies. Looks like Lego ripped me off a piece. It's not your fault, but it is your joy. You got General Grievous, man. You got a pretty cool one. This guy. Until I'm getting tired. I'm starting to struggle with it. <laughs> which one which one did he send you and which one did he fall in love? My absolute favorite Star Wars character is the Boba Fett. My pride and joy is the Boba Fett. The white prototype armor. Yeah, you know what? I had uh, the enabler send me one of those as well. And it is... Uh, it is a very cool, that's a very cool piece, Richard. I absolutely love mine. Okay, we're going to put this off to the side for now. We're going to put the tires together, and then we'll go back to the roof rack, because I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to get a piece out of my bulk, because for some reason, I am missing that. There's one. On goes the rubber. Putting the rubber to the road. And they're directional, so you make sure you put them the right way. All right, guys. Super close now. This thing is very neat. Man, I wish Lego was like this when I was a kid. I, mean, I don't begrudge anything we had for Lego, but it was nothing like this, that's for sure. One of the first uh, shuttle I got, I was just like blown away at how cool it was. and almost scored there on the power play right now. Oh, that was a bearing of a guy. Oof. This one goes here. This one goes here. All right. Well, Oh, good. Whew! I was like, where the heck did my other tire go? I thought I lost a tire there. That would have been really bad. <laughs> uh, and I have 10 Black Series figures so far. Blip on your radar. Tan gem. At least in the same area of code as me. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> no, Richard, I, we're. Tangem has infected me as well. So I have. Uh, just I haven't shown, shown them in a little while. I'll do that when we do the Lego room tour. It's. Uh, Oh, Tanjam. You know the sad part, Tanjam, is he's going to open that box and he's going to play with it in front of me. Just to make fun of me. I don't think that's right, but 
He's a good friend, so I guess I'll let him do it. Okay, so that one. And missing something big here, but uh, that goes there. That goes there. I'm missing the yellow piece. So I'm going to go to my Technic bin. I should have that piece. Give me a sec. Got here. Yeah, it's getting pretty pretty punchy. It's getting a little feisty affair here. Edmonton needs to hurry up and score four goals, otherwise my prediction is gonna be way wrong. There we go. That's what I need. Alright, all we got is the rack here. And we is complete. You had me at hello. Oops. Excellent. Oh, you'll have lots of room too, Matthew. So much room for activities. You don't need a kitchen. Grievous? Yeah, Grievous is one of my top favorites in that set too. I should really like my Darth Maul. Um, really dig my Darth Maul. All right, look what we did. We built a Jeep. We're not done. I didn't put everything on the rack here, so we just got to do this, this, and these two guys. You bought two peg warmers today, Don John, because you've been you're, you're in withdrawal. All right, so guess what? We built a Jeep. I'm still not, don't get me wrong, I'm still not anywhere as bad as Tan Jam, but uh, I don't know, three, six, nine, 12. Oh, there's four there, four, eight, 16. 32, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 49, that's how many, ish, and I'm not counting the little ones because they don't count, so there it is, there's the Rubicon. Like I said, a very playable set. Like it's a uh, cantilever suspension in the back end. It's just got like a swing axle in the front end or whatever. It's uh, yeah, it's cool. It's neat. Um, but it could definitely be a very a very cool play set. Like it's, it's got some suspension travel. You got the steering wheel at the back end of it, so that's kind of neat. It'll look good on a shelf. It's got, the, it's got the right color of Jeep for me. I like my yellow. So that's set 42122. Doors open. Um, yeah, they didn't make it so like the doors were uh, uh, fully removable. Um, but uh, very neat. And yeah, like it's not the most technical Technic set. Um, because it doesn't have the motor and all that good stuff in it. But 
for what it is, it's under $100. I think it's um, $68, $69 Canadian, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Hood opens up to show you the under hood, and it's just like, like you'd see in most cars nowadays. It's pretty much just the uh, engine cover. And then it closes. And like I said, everything closes up real nice and tight. So where's that? You can see the hood closing up there. Closes up super tight too. It's got some lights on the front. You've got your, your traditional Jeep round headlights up front. But yeah, I like that was good. So a couple hours, what are we, six, seven, three hours again. But all built and some good chat and some good uh, good people here. I just found I'm missing a piece on this. Hmm. So I'm actually missing two pieces in this whole kit. That's kind of funny. So I'm missing one of the bumper pieces or the uh, fender pieces back here. You can see that. Just one of these little black guys. So good thing is I got lots of those. Um, and then I was missing one of the yellow pieces. This is my. This is my stock of leftover stuff here. You can see that? Not a lot. I think that stuff rolled away or disappeared on me, but <laughs> oh well. So yeah, uh, that is this set in a nutshell. So yeah, be stay tuned. Um, Brad and Tanjam and I um, will be talking about our Libra build stuff. So there'll be the uh, we're going to do the three of them. So there's going to be uh, a Johnny 5, R2-D2, and then a uh, the Libra itself. So, and Libre. Um, and then, yeah, I think I'm going to have to build the Libre after that too because I, I think I want both. I mean, Johnny 5 is going to be cool, but it'd be cool to dig stuff, drive that thing around. I know they're big and clunky and... Uh, but there'll be a lot of fun, I think. We'll have we'll have a hoot doing it for sure, as we always do. There'll be some witty banter, I'm sure. And uh, I'm going to be focusing on building and trying to beat Brad to the end of my Johnny Five build. And see if Tanjam can beat him on the old uh, R2D2. And uh, yeah, so guys, as always, thank you very much for uh, hanging out with me tonight. I very much appreciate it. And, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, I'll try to get some videos up here. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to finish off those cow builds. I'll finish off the Batman and I'll finish off the, uh, carnage and I'll get them put into a video and, uh, um, we'll see what they look like. I'll probably do the Batman first, the carnage. It's funny. The carnage is the first one I got and it's going to be the last one I build because, uh, um, I'm just not looking forward to doing all the sticker elements of it, but whatever. It'll get done and it'll it'll look decent on the shelf, that's for sure. So um, thank you guys very much for being here tonight. Uh, like I said, I appreciate it. Thank you for your likes, your subscribes. Edmonton just scored. It's a tie game. We're all happy again. Uh, <laughs> so uh, until our next live, I'll see you guys. And yeah, um, stay safe as always. Good evening.